Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Cybel Explains. This video is all about picture graphs. Our objective at the end of this video, you must have interpreted data using picture graphs. What are pictographs? It is a graph where symbols or pictures represent a basic number of units of data. The symbol use is often associated with the data it represents. Parts of the symbol are used to represent fractions of the basic number of units. Let us have some examples. Suppose one city represents 60 cities. We can illustrate the given table using the pictograph. We have here the number of cities sold by a shop for January, February, March, April, May, and June. Based on the pictographs, we can interpret the following. The highest sales of cities were recorded in May. The least sale of CDs were recorded in March. The sales of CDs from March to May was continuously increasing. And the last, there were about 410 of CDs sold for the month of June. We need to remember the following. When making a pictograph, we note the following points. Give the title of the graph. Next, state what each symbol represents and draw the symbols with the same size. For example, suppose one smiley is equal to two students. We have here activity club the number of children. This is for the art, this is for the dance, for sculpture, and for literacy. We have some questions here to be answered. The first one is, which activity club has the maximum number of students? Second, which activity club has the minimum number of students? Third, which activity clubs has the same number of students and lastly how many more students are there in dance club than literacy club let's have first the first question which activity club has the maximum number of students based on the table we can see that the dance has the most number of smileys where are there are five smileys that would be 5 times 2 is equal to 10 students. So we can say our answer for the first question is dance. We are now in the question number 2. Which activity club has the minimum number of students? So based on our table, sculpture has only 3 smileys. That would mean 3 times 2 is equal to 6 students. So our answer for this question is sculpture. We are now in the question number 3 and that is which activity clubs has the same number of students? So based on the table that we have here, none of these clubs have the same number of students since the art has 8 students, dance has 10 students, sculpture has 6, and literacy club has 7 students. So my answer here is none. And for the last question, how many more students are there in dance club than literacy club? First, we need to find first the number of students in dance club and then literacy club, then we subtract the number of students. First, for the dance, there are 5 smileys. That would mean 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Then for the literacy club, that would be 
three and one half smileys times two, that will be seven students. Then we subtract 10 minus seven is equal to three students. And final answer for this question is three students. Next example, we have here vegetables in grandpa's garden. We have the onions, eggplants, squash, and cabbages. We have four questions. The first one is, are there more squash than cabbages? Second, which vegetables count to three? And third, what vegetables has the most number? And the last one, what is the total number of vegetables in Grand Pass Garden? We're up for question number one. Are there more squash than cabbage? We can see in our table here that there are five squash and six cabbages. So we can say that there are more cabbages than the squash. So our answer for this question is no. We are now in question number two. Which vegetables count to three? So obviously, based on our table, there are three eggplants. So we can say in question number two, our final answer is eggplants. For the number three, what vegetables has the most number? Based on our table again, there are four onions, three eggplants, five squash, and six cabbages. So we can say that the most number are the cabbages. And that's final answer. Now we are in question number four. What is the total number of vegetables in Grandpa's garden? So based on our table, there are four onions, three eggplants, five squash, and six cabbages. If we're going to add them all, you'll get 18 vegetables. Then that is our final answer. We have another example, building a new town month of the year and the number of houses built so this is for january february march april and may and one house is equivalent to 20 houses we have four questions first one is how many houses did this symbol represent second in what month did they build more than 100 houses third how many houses were built from January to May 2021? Fourth, how many more houses need to be built in May 2021 to be equal to those in January 2021? We are ready to answer question number one. How many houses did this symbol represent? So, based on our table, one house is equivalent to 20 houses. And half of that, that would mean 20 houses divided by 2. So, we'll get 10 houses. Our final answer is 10 houses. We are now answering question number 2, and that is, in what month did they build more than 100 houses? Based on our table, one house is equivalent to 20 houses. So for the month of January, there are 6 houses. That will give us 6 times 20 is equivalent to 120 houses. And for the April, there are 5 and a half houses. We will multiply it to 20. That will give us 110 houses. So we can say... Our answer would be there are more than 100 houses were built for the month of January and April. Let's answer question number three. How many houses were built from January to May 2021? So before we will answer that, we need to add all the number of houses that were built from January to may 2021 so let's have first the table so in january 2021 there are six houses times 20 that will give us 120. for february there are five houses that's five times 20 that will give us 100. for march there are four and a half times 20 that will give us 90 houses 
And for April, there are 5.5 that will give us 110 if we're going to multiply it to 20. And for May, there are 2 houses. We will multiply it to 20. That will give us 40. So if we're going to add 120, 190, 110, and 40, that will give us 460 houses. And that is our final answer. And we're up for the last question. How many more houses need to be built in May 2021 to be equal to those in January 2021? So if this is easy, all we need to do is to subtract the number of houses um, of January and May. So let's first know how many houses are there in January and in May. So for January, there are 120 houses. For May, there are 40 houses. So just subtract 120 minus 40. That will give us 80 houses. So our final answer for this question is 80 houses. Now it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. We have here a table named Cookie Crunch and one cookie represents five cookies. I have four questions for this table. The first question is, on what day were the fewest cookies were eaten? Second, how many cookies were eaten on Monday and Thursday together? Third, how many cookies were eaten from Monday to Friday? And how many more cookies were eaten on Friday than Tuesday? Thank you for answering! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!